Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. She risked losing her job last year. He decided to talk to his girlfriend after their breakup. I'm looking forward to explaining this mini lesson to you today. In this lesson, I'm actually going to talk about verb patterns, so stay tuned. How many times have you asked yourself what type of verb you should place after another one? Is it a gerund? Is it an infinitive? My best advice is to learn the verb with their own verb pattern. In English, there are four verb patterns. The first one is verb plus a gerund. And in one of my past lessons, I talked about verbs that express feelings, such as love, like, enjoy, etc. Uh, so I can say, I love watching movies, or he likes playing football, okay, and so on. My first introductory example was, she risked losing her job last year. Well, actually, risk doesn't express a feeling. We have other verbs that take the form in ing or a gerund. Consider, mine, the nine, Okay, involve, etc. So an example could be the company denied giving a raise to some employees. The second type of verb pattern is verb plus infinitive or verb plus the particle to and then the verb. My introductory example was he decided to talk to his girlfriend after their breakup. Okay, but not only the side takes to. There are a lot of verbs that take to, and you know the famous want, want to. Another example with uh, um, the verb pattern to, or infinitive, is uh, I hope to resolve your English grammar problem. The third type of uh, uh, verb pattern is with a particle to plus a germ. And in this case, I chose a um, phrasal verb. Uh, to look forward to plus ing, okay? And I said, I'm looking forward to teaching you this mini lesson. I know that the phrasal verb to look forward to um, takes the uh, germ after it, okay? Even though there is a to before. So, uh, like I said in my example, I'm looking forward to teaching you this mini lesson. However, there are many, many, many verbs that take uh, the particle to plus the gerund. And uh, I can give you another example. I got used to living in Rome. Okay, this could be another example with uh, the uh, verb to get used to plus a gerund. Moreover, there are verbs that take both uh, verb patterns, so an infinitive or uh, a germ. Let's take a look at remember. Remember how, that you know what it means. Um, they can take either form, infinitive, so with a particle to, or a germ, but they change meaning. So let's look at both examples. He remembered meeting them. This means to have the memory of doing an action. So, for example, when I was talking about uh, his uh, childhood, okay, uh, he remembered meeting his friends, okay, and so he had the memory of uh, doing an action. Let's look at remember without the gerund, but with the particle too. He remembered to call them. He remembered to call them. This means that uh, he did the action that one should do. So, for example, there is a party and uh, I told him, did you remember to call 
uh, your friends or did you remember to invite your friends to the party? So it's something that he should do. Okay, now let's look at the fourth form of, uh, of a verb pattern. And that is verbs that do not take the gerund or uh, an infinitive. These are verbs that take an object and do not need the, ver the, the infinitive or a gerund. So, for example, let me, an object, me, explain the case. Okay, let me explain the case. However, there are um, many modal verbs and the majority of modal verbs do not take uh, either the in form or the gerund or the infinitive. So, uh, I can say they can speak English well. So, they just take the base of the verb without the uh, particle to or without a gerund. Now, let's recap. I talked about four types of verb patterns, and these were the first one, verb plus a germ. In this case, I talked about the verbs um, that express feelings such as like, love, and joy, which take a germ. But there are other verbs that they do not express feelings, but they take the germ. I talked about the verb to risk. And the example was, she risked losing her job last year. The second type of verb pattern that I talked was a verb plus the uh, infinitive. So these are verbs uh, like want, like hope, that take the particle to, plus the base of the verb, and that is an infinitive. So uh, he decided to call his girlfriend after their breakup. The third um, type of uh, verb pattern that I talked about was with the, the verb, obviously, plus the a particle to, plus a germ. Okay, and in this case I talked about a famous uh, phrasal verb to look forward to, plus ing. I'm looking forward to teaching you this mini lesson. Okay, that was the example. Then I obviously talked about remember that can change meaning and I will talk about these types of verbs in future uh, lessons. So remember can change meaning according to the particle that follows after or to or without the particle but just a germ. And the fourth one the fourth type of uh, uh, verb pattern that I talked about was verbs that do not take uh, the infinitive or the gerund. And these usually follow an object. Like I said, let me explain uh, the lesson to you. Or uh, verb uh, or modal verbs such as can, must, or, uh, or should, would, that um, do not take to or uh, a gerund. So, uh, uh, we can speak English. So, without uh, the particle to or without the gerund. Now, I wish you the best and uh, um, if you want to ask questions, you may type your question under this video, give an example of your own if you wish to, and uh, uh, please don't forget to share if you liked the video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.